Good morning traders and welcome to the daily call today Friday the 3rd of July. Before we get started as always please understand that any advice in today's session is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. All right, looking at yesterday's markets, the main event was non-farm payrolls. We saw the average hourly earnings uh, drop by negative 1.2%. Uh, the economy did, however, add 4.8 million new jobs in June, meaning that uh, a lot of the COVID uh, lockdown people are returning to work. Unemployment rate also dropped to 11.1%. So that was positive news for the US dollar. Uh, overall, there wasn't really much movement on the, uh, on the uh, US dollar, uh, particularly if we look at the Euro USD. The range for the day was only around about 50 to 60 odd pips, and the the EURUSD currently now trading at 1.1240. That was the major event. It proved to be not much of an event uh, given the, the current circumstances, but that's all that's happened yesterday. So let's move along and have a look at our chart of the day. Again, in a period that, that there is not much setting up right now, so I'm looking at alternative type of charts. What I'm looking at this morning is the US CAD on a four hour time frame. It looks here that there is a, a rising wedge. We have one region here, two and uh, three regions. Previously, it's acted supportive and pushed up, and we're hoping that we can get that again. And on the top side, we can see that we've had two regions where the market has been resistive. So what we're looking at right now, I know it's the two candles here, which I've highlighted already. That is an inside candle pattern. It's on the fringe uh, in the hot zone. So that indicates uh, the possibility of reversal. So what I'm doing is I'm placing my pending order at the break of the red candle which is yes uh, the last four hours that have just gone by if we break that well then basically i am a buyer in the us cad now if it does continue to go down i will have to cancel that order out and basically it would be a null and void trade so there you have it us cad four hour time frame is our chart of the day this morning all right the session which is about to kick off it's a sleepy Friday, it's a public holiday in the US, there is no scheduled news announcements, so that pretty much wraps up for the week. Guys, as always, please feel free to contact us if you do have any questions. Follow me on Twitter at ChatFX for trade setups and breaking news. Most importantly, hope you all have a fantastic trading day. Have a great weekend. I'll speak to you on Monday for the weekly market analysis. Bye for now.